Now, I did think about doing a review of Mario Kart 8 when it came out. It's a brand new Mario Kart game on the newest Nintendo home console. But it soon became obvious that very little of the core Mario Kart mechanics had changed, and the stuff that had changed didn't impact the flow of the game all that much. So, what to do, what to do? Hence the state of play bit in the video's title. Think of it less like a review of Mario Kart 8, more like a series review and what to expect from future Mario Kart titles. Maybe if all of this goes well I could think about making it a series or something, that's, that's up to you people really. So what better place to start than with the very beginning of Mario Kart? Super Mario Kart was originally launched as an attempt to display two races on the screen at a time. A bit like F-Zero but scaled down to incorporate multiplayer with simpler tracks. Since those times, it's been by far the most popular Mario spin-off, spanning 8 games, 11 if you include the arcades, and available on a different handheld or home console every time. It's certainly come a long way since the early days on the SNES, that's for sure. It's interesting how, like I said earlier, the core mechanics haven't changed all that much in 22 years of Mario Kart history. Well, that may be the case, but little things have been added over the years to keep it fresh. And this may well hold the key to prolonging the life of Mario Kart in the long term. Super Mario Kart introduced, well, a lot. Mario Kart 64 introduced 3D graphics and 4-player racing, Super Circuit added retro tracks and handheld play, Double Dash tried a lot that wasn't continued like 2-player karts, but brought in unlockable characters at least. Then DS had Wi-Fi, Wii had bikes and motion control, Mario Kart 7 added gliders and underwater driving, leaving Mario Kart 8 to throw in anti-gravity and DLC. So it might not have changed much on the surface in 22 years, but the experience has certainly been streamlined. And this is very important when you consider that Nintendo has released Mario Kart in tandem with every new handheld and console. With new technology, Mario Kart has taken advantage of what each new console has brought forth and tried to make racing more and more exciting. But I don't think that's the reason why it's so popular. Think of any sport, doesn't really matter which one it is. I can guarantee whichever sport you've picked, racing is much simpler to understand. There's no bullshit about offside or a flag on the field, just get around the track faster than anyone else. This means that Mario Kart is incredibly easy to understand, and when you add all sorts of typical Mario crazy stuff, it's very easy to enjoy as well. The phrase is thrown around a lot, but it really is fun for all the family, and that's part of the reason why it's as popular as it is now. The future of Mario Kart is very simple. While it may be a stretch to think of new ideas every time, Nintendo has shown that they can be creative with concepts that may have otherwise become tired and repetitive. Just gotta make sure they bring back the battle mode we all know and love. There's also the rather straightforward fact that we've had a new Mario Kart game as a new system has come out, so for now at least, depending on if we get a new one for the new 3DS, we're going to be waiting a while for a new one. But let me know what you think. Do you enjoy playing Mario Kart? Where do you think it's going to go next? Let's try and get some sort of discussion going here, because let's face it, most of this is speculation anyway. At any rate, this has been Rabbit Luigi, and thank you very much for watching. Take care, guys.